Shabbat Shalom, family Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired and Yahweh led message. I'll be reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and starting in verse 1. Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and verse 1. Again, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and verse 1. And I read, But he that gives his mind to the law of Yahweh and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients and be occupied in prophecies. Now turn to Romans chapter 12. And verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren. By the mercies of Yahweh. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice set apart, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. Now turn to Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Galatians 2 and verse 20, and I read. I am crucified with Hamashiach. Nevertheless, I live yet not I, but Hamashiach lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of Yahweh, who loved me and gave himself from, for me. I read that to say this. The way of Yahweh mandates absolute submission Unto the will of Yahweh. The way of Yahweh requires. Obligates. One. To. Sacrifice. Deny. And reject. Their will. Let me say that again. Very slowly. In order to follow the way of Yahweh. One must. Kill their will, sacrifice their will, reject their will, and they must totally and wholly and without reservation submit unto the will of Yahweh. To serve Yahweh, you must absolutely and perfectly submit unto every word of Yahweh to please Yahweh you must submit unto Yahweh's will as our King Yeshua of Nazareth instructed us in Matthew chapter And verse 38, Matthew 10 and 38. And he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. So to follow Yeshua, who is the image and likeness of Yahweh, or rather, who is the renewed image and likeness of Yahweh. One must take your cross. What does it mean to take your cross? To take your cross is to embrace the suffering and the death of your will. To follow Yeshua HaMashiach, to follow Jesus the Christ, you must embrace the death and suffering of your will. And you must absolutely submit unto the will of Yahweh. When you commit to follow Yeshua HaMashiach, 
you are dedicating and obligating and mandating yourself to the death of your will and the absolute and complete submission to the will of Yahweh to follow Yeshua HaMashiach and the beginning of following Yeshua HaMashiach begins with the new birth to begin to follow Yeshua HaMashiach you must be born into Yeshua to be born into Yeshua, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must repent of your sins and be baptized in that blessed name of the one who grants access to Abba Yahweh. And that name is Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sins and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. And you must learn the way of Yahweh and submit Meet yourself totally and absolutely and humbly unto the word of Yahweh. Serving Yahweh, which is following Yeshua of Nazareth, requires one to die to the will and to submit unto the will of Yahweh. The will of Yahweh is every word that proceeds out of Yahweh's mouth. When you serve Yahweh, when you serve Yahweh properly and correct, you are divesting and rejecting your will. To serve Yahweh means to divest and reject and die to your will and to submit unto the will of Yahweh. If you are not able and if you refuse to divest and reject and die to your will and submit to the will of Yahweh, you cannot serve Yahweh. And if you are not serving Yahweh, you shall surely inherit the lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone. For to serve Yahweh, you must submit to the will of Yahweh. And if you submit to the will of Yahweh, then you have chosen to die to your will. You have chosen to reject your will. You have chosen to divest of your will for the will of man and the will of Yahweh are two opposing forces as it is written in Romans chapter 8 and verse 8 Romans 8 and verse 8 for they that are after the flesh for they that are after the will of man do mind the things of the will of man. But they that are after the spirit of Yahweh, the things of the will of Yahweh. For to be minded of Yahweh, uh, of man's will, is death. But to be minded of the will of Yahweh is life and shalom. Because the will of man is enmity against Yahweh. For the will of man is not subject to the will of Yahweh. Neither indeed can be. So then they that are after the flesh. So then they that are after the will of man cannot please Yahweh. If you are subject to to your will, you can't please Yahweh. You can't serve Yahweh. You can't have fellowship. You can't have alignment. You cannot be one with Yahweh. For in order to be one with Yahweh, you must divest yourself of your will. 
In order to be one of Yahweh, you must reject your will. In order to please Yahweh, you must kill daily your will and you must submit wholly and totally without reservation to the will of Yahweh. You must become centered and evolve around the will of Yahweh in order to serve Yahweh. For only those who have divested and rejected and died to their will and submitted to the will of Yahweh will inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. These will inherit life eternal. So to please Yahweh you must reject your will. You must die to your will. And to begin to die to your will, you must be born again. And to be born again, you must repent of your sins. To repent of your sins is to consent to die to your will. When you repent, of your sins when you express separate sorrow for your transgressions of Yahweh's law you consent to die to your will and when you're buried in the liquid grave in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach you are your will is buried And when you're brought up out in that liquid grave, you are raised to a renewed life that is committed to be subject to the will of Yahweh. And we receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit has initially heaven by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak you are empowered to live that submitted and sinless life so in the new birth is both the death and burial of your will and the resurrection of a submitted or even a committed submitted life unto the will of Yahweh to serve Yahweh you must die to your will and you must submit yourself unto the will of Yahweh this is the way of Yahweh you must die to your will you must divest yourself of your will you must reject your will and you must submit wholly and completely to the will of Yahweh all who cannot reject and divest themselves of their will and submit unto the will of Yahweh of a truth, you are reserved for the lake of fire. All who choose to hold to their will, you are guaranteed that lake of fire. For those who inherit eternal life are those who have sacrificed their will and rejected their will and submitted to the will of Yahweh. You must submit absolutely and totally to Yahweh's will. To please Yahweh you must submit to Yahweh's will. Turn back to Romans chapter 12. And verse 1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. The presentation of your body as a living sacrifice is the presentation of your will. 
You're sacrificing your will on the altar of Yahweh. You're allowing your will to die. You're allowing your will to cease to be aware. And you're choosing to submit unto the will of Yahweh. And this is a daily choice to die to your will and to choose to submit to the will of Yahweh. You must daily die to your will and daily choose to submit to every word of Yahweh which is the will of Yahweh. To serve Yahweh you must die and reject and divest yourself of your will and submit unto the will of Yahweh. If you do not submit to the will of Yahweh and you do not reject your will, you are a straight up sinner. For a sinner is one who has chosen to hold to their will. Those who are transgressors of Yahweh's law are those who are beholden, those who exalt, and those who center their lives around their own damnable will. If you hold to your will, then you hate and despise and reject the will of Yahweh. Let me say it again. If you hold to your will, it means that you hate, despise, and reject the will of Yahweh. If you hold to your will, you will not inherit life eternal. If you hold to your will, you will not enjoy sweet, blessed, and eternal fellowship, harmony, and oneness in the kingdom of Yahweh. For those who will receive the reward of the kingdom of Yahweh are those who have chosen in their lifetime to die and reject their will. And to receive and submit to the will of Yahweh. So whosoever will. Reject your will. Kill your will. Die to your will. And submit unto the will of Yahweh. While you have breath in your nostrils. Reject your will. Die to your will. And submit unto the will of Yahweh. Which is every word of Yahweh. Yahweh's hands of mercy is extend, extended to you. Beckoning you to come. And take the word of life freely. The word of life is the will of Yahweh. Come, take the word of life freely. Repent of your sins. And be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That you may receive the pardon of your sins. That you may receive a quickened nature. And, that, and you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit. As initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. You must die to your will. As is written in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh. They present your bodies a living sacrifice set apart. Acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. It is your reasonable service to sacrifice your will and to submit your entire soul, your body, your mind, 
and your affections unto Abba Yahweh. So when you submit your body, your mind, and your affections, all of your body, all of your mind, all of your affections must be submitted unto the will of Yahweh. Meaning that all of your mind, all of your body, all of your affections must conform. To every word of Yahweh. That means this. All of your actions. All of your speech. All of your dress. It must conform. It must align. It must be one with the will of Yahweh. Which is the word of Yahweh. You must repent. You must consent to die to your will. And you must choose to allow your will to be buried in that liquid grave, which is the word of baptism, in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. Again, in order to serve our Yahweh, you must die to your will. You must give up your will, divest yourself of your will, and you must embrace the suffering and death of your will, and you must submit totally and absolutely and humbly unto the will of Abba Yahweh. For if you cannot divest and reject your will, you cannot serve Yahweh. You're not serving Yahweh if you can't reject your will. You can't reject your will. You're not serving Yahweh. And if you're not serving Yahweh of a truth, it's a guaranteed reality. You will inherit that lake of fire that burns with fire and brimstone. For it's written in Ecclesiasticus chapter 10. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and verse 12. Ecclesiasticus 10 and verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departs from Yahweh and his heart is turned away from his maker. The beginning of self-will the beginning of submission unto the will of self is when one rejects Yahweh and his will is turned away from Yahweh. For self will is the beginning of sin. For the submission unto your own will is the beginning of sin. And he that has it shall pour out abomination. And therefore Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. So if you subject, if you're subject to your will, if you submit to your will, if your will is the center of your life. You are a sinner. You are a hater and despiser and mocker of Yahweh. For the will of man is opposed to the will of Yahweh. In order to please and worship Yahweh, you must die to your will. You must reject 
your will. You must divest yourself of your will. You must reject your will. You must die to your will to serve Yahweh. For only those who have submitted themselves unto the will of Yahweh can please Yahweh. So I beseech you, whoso will, to repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins. And you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits one to speak. Do not delay to give, give, give yourself to Yahweh. While you have breath in your nostrils, surrender, submit yourself to Yahweh's word. Yahweh has sent me unto you to proclaim his everlasting message. To give you an opportunity to be reconciled unto him and to be one with him. Do not neglect this opportunity. For tomorrow is not promised to none. That's written in the book of James. In James. In James chapter thirteen. Chapter 4 and verse verse 13. James 4 and verse 13. Go to now, you to say, Today or tomorrow we will go unto such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For where is your life? It is even a vapor that appear. For a little time. And then vanishes away. For there you ought to say. If Yahweh will. We will live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. Oh such rejoicing is evil. Now turn to Ecclesiasticus again. Ecclesiasticus. Chapter. Five. And verse 7. Make no tearing. Make no tearing. Or make no waiting to turn to Yahweh. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly or in a moment. Shall the wrath of Yahweh come forth. And in your security. You shall be restored. And perish in day of vengeance. So do not put off. For tomorrow. To submit unto the word of Yahweh today. Do not wait for a later time, a later hour, a later circumstance for you to give your life to Yahweh today. For tomorrow is not promised. If you neglect to submit to the word of Yahweh today, if you neglect and reject to Receive the will of Yahweh today for a later date. Know of a surety your soul is required of you. And Yahweh's judgment and slaughter awaits you. And Yahweh has a plague, a curse, fury. And terrors upon you, and he will grant you because you have chosen in neglecting to submit yourself to Yahweh today, you have chosen to reject his will, and your life is a curse.
your life is worthy of a plague. So right now repent of your sins. Seek to be baptized in water in the blessed name of Yahshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sins and the regeneration of your soul. Right now seek Yahweh patiently and humbly and sincerely and joyously and with expectation for the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit with the expectation that upon receiving the Holy Spirit baptism you will speak in another tongue as Yahweh permit you to speak they follow on to know Yahweh by learning the way of Yahweh and learn to live and submit to the will of Yahweh that you may be kind and worthy of that first resurrection that you may reign with Yahweh throughout eternity but if you choose to neglect and reject Yahweh's will no surety you are damned no surety you're going to be plagued no surety you're going to be terrorized no surety Yahweh going to send the spirit poured out upon you because you have chosen to reject his will get right with Yahweh submit unto the word of Yahweh while you have breath in your nostrils do it right now if you're looking to be baptized in commandment of our Yahweh call me I'm a minister that can baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ and Yeshua Messiah. There are two other ministries that perform rightly the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's first church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the leadership blessed of Brother Minister Geo Jennings and the house of the faith out of the blessed leadership of Brother Elijah. Their contact information will be in the description of this message. So you have no excuse to delay getting right with Yahweh. You have no excuse in putting off submitting your life unto the word of Yahweh, to the will of Yahweh. The time is now to get right with Yahweh. For we are in the hour of judgment. America's judgment is at hand. And if you want to survive the coming judgment that shall befall the United States of America, you must be engrafted into the true vine in order to be engrafted into the true vine which is Yahshua HaMashiach you must be born again and to be born again you must repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of your soul and you must receive that blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit have initially evident by speaking another tongue as Yahweh permit, permit you to speak and you must follow on the know Yahweh and you must learn the way of Yahweh to follow on to know him and submit to every word of Yahweh that you may be counted worthy to escape the coming judgment that shall fall upon the United States of America they may escape the coming judgment that will fall upon the nations they may escape the coming judgment that shall fall upon the antichrist it's time to get right with Yahweh do it now don't delay don't put off giving your life to Yahweh 
for tomorrow, but tomorrow is not promised. It's time to submit yourself unto Abba Yahweh. Do it now while you have breath in your nostrils. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you, moreover, for using your servant to speak for your set apart and most exalted testimonies, O Yahweh. Thank you for stirring and arousing my mind and heart to preach and declare your eternal word. I beseech you, O Yahweh, that you draw whoso will among whom you have chosen before the foundation of Shalim and the Reds to receive your word. That you show forth miracles, wonders, and signs by your word among those whom you have granted faith unto. Continue to guard Preserve and sustain your elect ones. Continue to fight for us, your elect ones, O Yahweh. Continue to send forth your grievous, incurable, and terrible, and multiplied plagues, curses, and fury upon our enemies, even upon my enemies here in Person County, in Roxburgh, North Carolina. Continue to smite my enemies who seek to spout the liberty of your servant, who seek to ensnare and trap your servant, even my enemies that seek to hack and to vex your servant, O Yahweh. I give your name glory, honor, and praise, O Yahweh. Thank you, O Yahweh. Thank you. So be it. So be it. Remember, as always, family of Abba Yahweh, please show your support by sending a donation either to my cash app or PayPal. Or send a donation to MoneyGram or Western Union. Which, be in, which will be in the description. As Abba Yahweh stirs and arouses your heart, please send a donation to help your beloved brother. For remember, it is the obligation of the family of Yahweh to support the ministry. We are one family. We are one body in Messiah Yeshua. So please show your support by sending a donation either to my cash app, PayPal, MoneyGram, or Western Union. May Yahweh bless you all with a blessed and refreshing Shabbat. Love your family. Shabbat Shalom.